This is an in-depth walkthrough of Layout Pro, a pack of over 40 presets for DaVinci Resolve to instantly arrange up to 20 video clips in frame at once. This is primarily a resource for people who choose to pick up that pack, but I'm also gonna show off some really cool functionality inside DaVinci Resolve that you might not know about and you might find uh, super useful in your own projects, so uh, maybe still stick around. Especially if you have no idea what Layout Pro is. It's pretty cool. Let's dive in. I have a timeline here and I have a few different areas with an increasing amount of video clips stacked on top of each other. And over here in my effects library under effects during supply co, I have layout pro. And here I have all the presets included in this pack. And you can see they all have custom thumbnails uh, that preview uh, the effect of each of these presets. This entire pack is built around this really cool functionality, fusion clips. While you can take uh, any clip on your timeline into fusion, this is a little different. You can see I have two clips here. Uh, stacked on top of each other and I can select both of those right click and go to a new fusion clip and you can see now there's only one clip on my timeline and to sort of reveal what's going on if I select that and open the fusion page you'll see instead of the one media in we'd normally have we have two and if I preview those you'll see okay each media in is a separate source clip and just like a compound clip I can right click on this on the timeline open uh, in a timeline and I can rearrange these uh, increase the length do all sorts of stuff here before it goes into that fusion clip and has whatever else applied to it. Now, the really cool thing is that uh, this is now a fusion clip with two media ends and any presets I apply are able to recognize that. So if I come in Layout Pro and just go to Layout Pro uh, 2 version 1, drop that on the fusion clip. Now, uh, this effect has perfectly arranged these two video clips evenly in frame. And if I select that, uh, open my inspector now, uh, come over to effects, I have a whole bunch of controls. And these controls are the same across uh, all of these plugins, just with, you know, an increasing amount of uh, different source clips. So I can open up source clip controls. I have controls for center and size. You can see I can change that, uh, especially useful if I scale it up and then shift this around. It does still stay in that masked area, but you can control the source inside the mask, or you can change the mask itself. I have mask center, height, width, and corner roundness. You can see if I shift this mask now, it's shifting where that is in frame. The footage stays in the same place. I can change the height and width as well, and the corner radius. And you have these for all uh, inputs in the scene. You'll see this will get wild pretty quick, but just in two, it's a little more manageable. And then you have these background controls. You can change the color of this, or if you bring them all down, uh, including the alpha, then this should also be transparent. Let me go ahead. I will grab a, a generator, just a solid color there. And if I bring this up, yeah, I can see I have this generator behind it. Uh, this footage is now completely transparent, so you can put this over whatever you want. That's the gist of it, but let's show off some more. Back in Layout Pro, next I am jumping to uh, three video clips. I will make that a compound clip. Uh, find one we like. How about this? Version 4. Three video clips evenly in frame. I can delete that, try out a different one. Ooh, this one's a fun one. Look at that. Wider, two below. Really cool. Especially, yeah, let's hop in. Uh, why don't I come to that uh, first mask? I believe this is the first mask. Yeah, first mask, uh, round that, circle on top, these two square below, really cool. Going up from there, we have five video clips. Make it a compound, come in Layout Pro, uh, find five now, drop that over, five perfectly arranged in frame. Let's go all the way up to 12, new fusion clip. Ah, uh, it's so great. This takes up like one spot on your timeline. It's really great. Uh, 12 is here at the top, but I can drag this right on and give it a second. Hey, 12 video clips perfectly in frame. This one does stretch them out a bit. Um, you can see another option we have here. Uh, 12 keeps them in their uh, normal full aspect resolutions. And hey, if I click play, uh, we are getting uh, what can be charitably called a uh, rough feedback. But hey, if you don't know this as well, uh, my render cache is on user by now. If I change that to smart, you see uh, normally that can kick in a lot of cache stuff, uh, but this is a fusion clip. So I can right click on this, go to render cache fusion effect filter, just select that layout pro that will toggle on this uh, regular uh, red cache bar so that as this caches, um, it will it will cache that. So I'll let this uh, do its thing. Um, I pulled in a whole bunch of random video clips. This is a video I made just for thumbnails. That's kind of embarrassing. And boom, it's cached. Uh, 12 video clips perfectly spaced in frame, cached, playing back. It's, it's a cool, it's a cool preset. And now, the big dog. Select 20 video tracks, right click, make it a fusion clip. Instead of one video clip, we've got... 
boom, 20 different video clips. I can open uh, this effects tab in my inspector. If I come to this source clip controls, now we've got a whole lots of options. Uh, source, uh, clips, mask controls, all those same options we showed off earlier, except now you can toggle that for each one of these individually. You could even uh, keyframe these if you want to get crazy. <laughs> now to just demonstrate uh, something I kind of showed off earlier, uh, we have 20 video clips and let's just look at these first, this like uh, text reveal and Halo gameplay. Say uh, for whatever reason I wanted those to be a uh, switched position. I could right click on that fusion uh, clip, open in timeline, and then I believe those are down here right at the bottom. Yeah. So if I just swapped the track position of these two clips, if I go back to my main timeline, then... Hey, those have swapped. Because it looks at what track um, your clip is on and ties that into uh, the media in for that one correspondingly. And that's Layout Pro. I first showed off this pack on a video that was much more about that main uh, fusion uh, clip process. But this is really cool. It can be super useful. Uh, it deserves to stand alone as its own video. And especially if someone uh, doesn't see that first video but picks this up anyway because they see, hey, it can be super useful. Uh, hopefully uh, this is as much depth as you need to uh, take this and go off, do whatever else you want with it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.